Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, I said last night in my Tuesday Preppers video that the only demon fight, demon killer fight that we had not done yet was the Scorn of Asura and that I was holding off on doing it because it was a really complicated fight and I was probably gonna end up having to do it anyway. Well, after thinking about it for a little while and using some of the inspiration from last night's video about using multiple elements to uh, take care of bosses, um, I decided that I was gonna go ahead and go for Scorn of Asura uh, Blades Unto Infinity, the hard mode, um, using as budget a team as I could think of to try and put it together. Um, so this is a pretty complicated fight, uh, but there are a few things that you can put together um, that are going to help you with it. So I'm going to pop that up on screen right now. Um, you're going to need some sort of unit, if you can't do this quickly, that's going to help you seal Asura on uh, the first phase of the fight. When I say seal Asura, um, if you've never done this fight before, um, you use somebody who does different elements um, to, to prevent her Asura from using a big devastating attack. So it'll say at the top of the screen, attack with fire and ice, attack with thunder and water, attack with wind and earth, something like that. And so you need somebody who can do all those elements independently. Um, and ideally you want that person to also have passive provoke and evasion because Asura is going to counter um, with an attack that dispels. And you don't want that to go to your tank. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. But you don't want that to hit your tank because then your tank will get dispelled and wipe your team. Um, so you want someone to attack first. That'd be the first thing you do every turn for the first phase of the fight. That's going to then soak up those counters. Um, and that's a good thing. So uh, you also want somebody who can do a little bit of healing and support for your team. Um, ideally, somebody that can you know heal the damage, maybe put up some barriers and stat buffs and things like that. That's going to help keep your, keep your team alive. Um, you do want a very bulky physical cover tank. Whoever that is, it needs to be very, very bulky. Uh, lots of defense, lots of HP. Um, and we have somebody who can do that. Um, and we're going to bring, I'll, I'll show you that in just a moment. You want somebody who can tag team chain for you if you're going to bring two chainers or two finishers. If you're going to bring one finisher, you don't need this, but you will need someone to chain together. Um, in my build, I'm using a tag team unit. And you want that person with this clear to be running golem so they can cast that on uh, d dangerous turns on turn um, in the second phase of the fight. So uh, there you go. Um, and then also your finishers. Ideally, you're going to be having them built with high demon and human killer in the first phase of the fight and then um, reaper killer as well for the second phase of the fight. Um, so yeah, that's what we got. So let me go ahead and pop up on the screen, you know, what we're dealing with here. Um, it looks kind of like this. There we go. Here's the team that we're going to be bringing. Um, and we'll kind of start at the, the top. So Runda is just going to, you know, just, just be, be, be an awesome Runda, you know, um, Runda does a lot of good things for us. And I've got Runda built like this. Yeah. We've got some STMRs here. Um, and then Runda's special gear, but this is a trial reward. This is really old. This is a, uh, you know, an event item, but you could upgrade it now. Like there's lots of things you could do here. Runda needs to have null paralysis, needs to have paralysis immunity. Um, and then I've just got some uh, some defense and spirit HP, you know, some elemental resistances, but it's not a huge deal. Runda's defense does most of the work, um, but you don't want to be in the negatives. So um, ideally, the most you can squeeze in, the better, but it doesn't have to be these items. Um, it just helps Runda to have good HP and defense. Uh, and then I've got the uh, this event vision card because it is available right now. Now it's fair game. <laughs> We're using it and it's really helping Runda out a lot. So there's Runda. Um, I mean, null paralysis and confusion is very, very important for this uh, second phase of the fight. Um, next, we're going to talk about Shantoto. So Shantoto is our ceiling unit. Um, Shantoto can cast, Livid Shantoto can cast every element except for um, light independently. Um, so I've, I did equip her with um, uh, with Ramu so that she could cast uh, Banish for light damage if we need to, um, if we make it that far. And uh, there you go. So she can do all of that. Also have her equipped um, with a just, you know, evasion. So we've got passive provoke and evasion. Um, doesn't have to be these items. These are just very convenient. Helps us to get there. 100% evasion, 100% passive provoke with the dancer's helm. I've got Riku's pouch for um, doing uh, poison on the second phase of the fight. And we've got Rage Beast Roar as well for the second phase of the fight to help get rid of imperils um, and um, keep the tank alive. This is not important. She just has it. Okay, cool. Uh, Lotus Mage Fina is here for healing. Um, does not need all this. You know, this is just helping 
nothing really. Um, but she does, uh, really, really all she needs is HP and HP, MP, and spirit. You know, her own TMR just for immunity, but whatever. This is all not that important. She's, she's probably the least important unit of the fight. It could be anybody that does some healing and support for your team. Here's our tag chainer. Um, we're focusing on fire for this team, so they are wearing a flame gun to help build the elemental fire chain. Um, otherwise, just built for some spirit um, and the tag, uh, the tag chaining build for quad attack. Um, and does have some Esper fill as well um, from the leftover from last night, um, but doesn't really have to have it. We're gonna be we're gonna be filling up the gauge, but it, it's it's useful if you want to use Golem more often. Give Esper fill, um, no vision card. Here's our first DPS. We've got Squall. You can build Squall with as much Demon, Human, and Reaper Killer as you can fit into his kit. I don't even have his, his LB maxed out. Um, but just because of the gear, I, I, I can do it. I just, you know, I'm trying to like, you know, budget him down a little bit. Um, and we've got Magisters and, you know, good stuff on him. Undead Killer Plus, Force Mysterian, Reaper Killer, Reaper Killer. Um, have Ling's Vision Card. I do happen to have Laguna's Vision Card, but um, I'm not using it because it's, you know, a little too good. Maybe you don't have Laguna's Vision Card. Okay, so there's our Squall. And then I've got a friend unit here, a ring star player, Titus. You know, we're gonna assume this could be a friend unit, so maybe yours could be built better um, if they have better gear. Happens to be wearing a great sword, happens to be wearing this vision card. Um, you don't have to have this, it's helpful. But if you're doing a friend unit, you know, if, if you've got a friend unit, you, you can ask them to bring this. That's cool, uh, helps Squall do a lot more damage. Um, and Titus as well, because he's wearing a great sword right now. Um, you could obviously build Titus better. You could go with a water team if you wanted to um, and do something else, but we're doing fire, so here's how we've got him built, okay? There we go. So uh, let's get into it and uh, see how this fight is gonna turn out. I've done this a couple times um, and I'm pretty sure I've got it figured out. So, the first thing we're going to do, like I said, the first action is always going to be Shantoto sealing the elements. Now, on the first turn, it doesn't matter. But you also don't want to, like, have Runda get hit and just start knocking out buffs and stuff like that. So we're just going to go ahead and have her go first. And to prep um, for the next turn, because the first turn is always fire and ice, we're just going to do some fire and ice right now. Okay, right, I'm going to wait for these to finish. There we go. And then Squall and uh, Titus are going to just do Fire Imbue for themselves, and then two Bolting Strikes. Here we go, Fire Imbue, two Bolting Strikes. And Biggs and Wedge are going to just chain. This is just to do a little bit of damage to help us you know, get closer to uh, the end of the fight. That's just fine. Um, Runda is not going to be provoking because we don't want to provoke, but we are going to cover, break the boss um, with Runda laser, and then protect Ga. It's going to help keep everybody alive. And Lotus Mage Fina is going to do um, stat buff and elemental resistances and enduring blossom to give HP barrier to Runda. This first turn is going to hurt. Notice all those counters. They dispelled Shantoto, but they hit Runda. There we go. And it said use fire and ice. Runda's beat up pretty badly, but that's okay. So um, we're gonna go ahead and do this here. Fire and ice with Shantoto, right? Um, this is nice because she can chain spell. And again, we're hitting three times so that um, the, all the counters go to her. Okay, our, um, our damage boys here, they're just going to go ahead and um, bolting strike three times just to keep damaging the boss. Bolting strike three times. Okay, and the Biggs and Wedge are in a chain with them. There we go. Runda is going to use Runda Scan, the basic form LB. Gonna put up mitigations and I'll do all kind of good stuff for us. And Fina is going to 
um, Manatopia just to keep the MP filled up, and um, Blooming Lotus to add uh, resistances for everybody, as well as fill HP. This is a big heal, and Runda needs it right now. We're going to take significantly less damage this turn, though. There we go. Attack with lightning and water. We could do that, but in this case, we're actually gonna be bursting on this turn with our two super limit bursts, um, and we are good to go. So what is actually gonna happen here is we're gonna try and use Chaos Grenade to apply disease to the boss. There we go. Boss is now diseased, which means boss is gonna take more damage. This is gonna be helpful to push us over the threshold because we didn't use any LB damage buffs or anything like that. No type of spirit, no nothing like that. Um, and that's gonna break the boss a little bit further um, and uh, get us doing more damage here. So I'm gonna launch Titus first and then these two. Right now. Cool. So, um, to get through the threshold, which is pretty dangerous, Runda has a lot of mitigations and elemental resistances and stuff like that already. Um, so we're not going to do anything else right this moment. Um, what Runda is going to do is guard. And that's going to help Runda survive the threshold attack. Fina, to help us get ready, is going to um, heal Runda up again. Right? And again, apply an HP barrier. It's only 5,000. Every little bit helps. Actually, I think it's 4,000. Okay. So obviously the boss comes back and hits Runda really, really hard. Um, and Runda is, um, you know, has some imperils, but it doesn't really matter this first turn. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just, just kind of start that process over again. We're going to use Kunder, um, c c Cover, Break, and instead of Protectka, we're going to use Runda Barrier, um, and that's going to be a really good elemental resistance buff for us. We're not going to do it just yet. First thing we're going to do is use Shantodo um, to use Chaos Grenade again. This time it's going to poison the boss, which is going to help do a lot of damage. And there we go. And just to get ready, um, the boys here are just going to um, triple cast. We're going to do Flame Barret, um, and then... Um, Let's see here, which is the one that I want? Agile Edge. We're doing Stardust Ray Chaining this time because Titus has really good Stardust Ray Chaining available right now. And before we do, we're gonna cast Golem. That way we can potentially refill Golem back up with the orbs that we get on this turn. There we go. And then we're just gonna chain the boys together. There we go. Pretty cool. Um, Runda's going to do Runda's thing. And just to keep ourselves safe, we're going to um, um, Blooming Lotus again. Make sure we have the elemental res or the ailment resistances we need and Enduring Blossom. Because this time she counters with Numbing Blade Fury which is going to add paralysis um, and confusion to you, which is not good. Okay, so let's talk about what just happened. Um, on that turn, she gets rid of all her imperils and enfeeblements and stuff like that and breaks and everything's gone and she buffs up defense and spirit. So for two turns, we're gonna need to hold on and uh, keep ourselves alive. Runda also um, has a water in peril now. Um, so not a huge deal, you know, um, we, we could try and we could remove that if we feel like we need to. Runda's also broken um, and has some bad stuff going on here. So um, what I like to do is actually remove that. Um, while, while Ashura is poisoned, she's gonna take extra damage. So, um, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna leave that alone. And we're going to Rage Beast Roar all the bad stuff off Runda before we do anything else. There we go. And then um, the boys are just going to chain it up. Because um, we got two turns to get through. Um, so we're just going to do Bolting Strikes here. That's going to apply Fire Imperil. 
um, which is important. And bolting strikes just to chain for the damage. And we don't have golem right now, so we're going to chain first. There we go, we got golem. Definitely want to make sure you golem after you dispel. You don't want to accidentally dispel golem off your tank. And he's just going to cover, break the boss, and uh, protect Ga. And to help keep him alive, Fina is going to reapply the um, Divine Veil for elemental and resistances and stat buffs, and then um, heal. Uh, actually, we don't need to heal. We're just going to Enduring Blossom for the HP barrier. Now look at Runda. Looking good. Looking good. This phase of the fight can hurt, though. All right, so she got rid of her poison. Um, that happens. We look here, we've got one more turn of uh, the, the buffs here that are going to expire on this turn. And Runda has now been imperiled to fire, um, as well as defense broken, spirit broken. You know, bad stuff has happened to Runda again. So we are going to get rid of it with Rage Beast Roar. Do that same pattern again, right? All right, the boys are going to um, be bursting next turn. I know their SLBs are available right now, but we're gonna do an LB buff to help us get through this. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do bolting, bolting, and then their their Magnus abilities. Bolting, bolting, Magnus ability. Okay, we don't have golems, so we're gonna chain first. We didn't get golem, it's okay, it's all right. Um, Runda, or same, same thing, we gotta get Runda doing good, so elemental resistances. I'm not gonna do HP barrier this turn. I am gonna do HP restore, cause Runda's looking pretty bad. So, there's that. And Biggs and Wedge, because they can't cast golem, are gonna use gimme a bit more time. This is gonna put up mitigations and stuff. There we go. And Runda is just going to cover, break the boss with laser, and protect Ga. See, we're not taking very much damage at all. Still hurts. <laughs> but it's significantly less than we would. Uh, this is going to be our final turn here. So I'm just going to show you what we got mission-wise, right? Complete the quest, you get Crucifying Coercion, which is the main reason you're coming to this fight, because this is a very strong ability. Uh, fire damage gets you energy restores. Evoke an Esper gets you exchange tickets and clear without anybody dying, and you get the rare summon ticket. Um, we did not lose anybody, so we're in good shape there. Um, if, you were, uh, if you didn't think you were going to clear this fight on this turn, you could do all the same stuff with Shantoto, Runda, and Fina. Um, but we're going to try and burst this down. So same as before, um, we're just going to Titus, Biggs and Wedge, and Squall. So here we go. And there you have it. So we did it in seven turns. We got all the missions. We got all the stuff. Nobody died. Pretty cool. The only Neovisions unit in the party is Runda. Everybody else is an NBA or a seven star unit. I can't see how uh, Titus did because Titus is my unit and for some reason doesn't show you friend. Uh, you know, when you bring your own companions, it doesn't show you how you did. Um, but there you go. All done. So, um, you know, I th that ended up not being as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, so I'm glad I just went ahead and did it and took care of it. Um, and, uh, you know, now if I ever have a, a demon bite come up where I'm like, hey, we got to get demon killer. Now I've got a video that I can reference. So um, hope that helps somebody if you've never done this before um, and get you that crucifying coercion so that you can go after um, the demon killer stuff this week or next week. Because, you know, there's going to be more. There's always going to be more. Take care.